but they lead it 11 to nothing. And here's the Leading second generation big the leaguer, Delino DeShields. And Dan, Delino. what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. In now, Devin Bernal as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. A runner at first with no outs here. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. To two and two now. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Got him with a good high fastball there. All Danny, right we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations Omar. these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Sis has a beat on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting, Rupnit Odor. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Right there, Matt. You know, they get the leadoff man on and they haven't been able to advance him. That's why they're not scoring runs. You got to hit and run still. Do something to get that runner moving. Get aggressive. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 11 nothing, the final shutout total in this one. Seattle brought the bats in this one with 18 total hits. Steven Strasburg records his 18th win of the year as he struck out 13 in this one. Tyson Ross was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB tonight. The Show. First, for, for more, the don't forget to check Seattle out the Mariners. shownation.com. On 18 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Rangers, no runs. Four hits. No errors. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Steven Strasburg. His 18th win of the season. The loss goes to Tyson Ross. He falls to eight and four. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. A reminder that postgame buses are available at the first base gate 20 minutes after the conclusion of play and will drop riders off at locations across the street from Lincoln Square Fountain or on the north side of Lincoln Square.